what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel ordinary e i'm just an ordinary guy just trying to learn about tech and um so um, you'd be wondering uh, why i've got this board back out and the ram and the hard drive well i received the comment um i think his name was cypher if not i'll give you a shout out anyway but there you go um i may have had the understanding of the way the ram and the cpu works so just to get it back right in my head um, here's your cpu here would be your RAM. Here would be your hard drive. And apparently, and it's probably right, when you turn on your computer, your CPU will get the data from the hard drive direct. And then it will dump whatever it thinks it may need in the future onto the RAM so that it will then be able to get it quicker. Whereas I thought uh, the CPU asked the RAM to get that, store it on here, and then it worked that way. So that's changed my understanding a little bit. And as you know from the last video, what I'm trying to do is upgrade my PC to be able to uh, use it for editing and eventually get onto gaming. We still haven't gamed on that PC. It's been a year I received lately. Um, I also received advice about what actually these are um, and and what these are, sorry. So these are RAM. And someone did mention there were a certain type of RAM. I can't remember the name now, but um, what it used to work with, that's, that's the Pentium 4, and that's exactly what he said. So the Pentium 4 used to use RAM, and if you had four, uh, four slots to put RAM into then you'd have to occupy all four so these are dummy RAM parts which make everything work so yeah like I said guys I'm learning about tech I haven't built a computer before I've never gamed on a PC before uh, I'm usually a console and yeah we've learned all this so far together so we're getting there guys we're getting there. we're getting the understanding of a PC okay we managed to build a PC we managed to start an online business we're giving away PCs here make sure you subscribe and um, let's get into this video so You'd be wondering why am I understand why that all pays a significance. Well, as I said, this laptop can run editing software. It can run HitFilm, it can run uh, DaVinci, it can run any other any other ones. Badly or slowly, not badly, but slowly. Yeah, and badly. Um, but that takes away nothing about technology and my appreciation for technology. I think all of this is just insane. However, somebody sat down and figured out all of this stuff is just insane. Uh, who does that? If anyone can explain to me who the hell sat down and managed to create all these different components and put them together, and it just blows my mind. So, not taking anything away from that, but in this modern day that we're trying to edit stuff on, and this, that, and the other, this is uh, struggling and making my life difficult. Uh, unfortunately, um, the technology, as great as it is, it's just not, it's just not helpful, right? I, I don't want to say any bad words because I still think it's still amazing. Um, but why has that comment made any significance? So. I will show you on the PC in a minute. I did open up the laptop and the PC and try to distinguish what the differences are, right? Because it's a newer it's a newer CPU than the laptop. It runs faster than the laptop, and it has got a video card and all the rest of it. This must have a video card of some sort in there. We then I also off screen and off camera I update. I went into the virtual memory, um, and you can times it by 1.5 of whatever your DDR value is. So the DDR uh, capacity in the laptop is 8 gigabytes and as you saw in the last video the, the DDR3 capacity on my PC was 8 gigabytes so the, the RAM is exactly the same so the RAM is not playing a factor I don't think um, in the editing software on the PC so why does that comment that gave me that Cypher gave me um, play a significance well the difference is this is a hard drive and this doesn't I don't think has a hard drive it's probably an SSD so my understanding now would be if the CPU is getting the data here first then maybe it's struggling with the speed of a hard disk drive. So we got here, and I got this. For, I got this thrown in on a car boot sale deal because as you know I do the eBay thing, and we're trying to become millionaires with the tech that we're building. So everything's free, and we're gonna we're gonna be millionaires, right? But anyway, this, that's a different video playlist. Go and watch that if you're interested. Um, well, these these transfer speeds. I don't know what is it. 100 100 megabytes. We can check that afterwards. What mine's doing. This is a bit dirty and dusty, so we have to clean it up. But these transfer speeds, I think, about five, six hundred, right? So maybe, don't know if that's going to play significance in actually using DaVinci or HitFilm or whatever the ones I'm trying to use, and that won't work. But it might help with the one I do use, which is ClipChamp, in being able to edit better. Regardless, I think it'd be better to put an SSD in in the, as the operating system anyway. Um, here's the problem I got, guys. So the SSD I managed to pick up, and obviously, as you know, when you get and this is used. So as you get used stuff, apparently it's not recommended to use used stuff, but we can check the health of this and things like that. That's what we're going to do in this video. But it's only 120 gigabytes storage. 
whereas in there I've got 500 and I think I've used about 300 gigabytes so I can't just simply transfer all of my data onto this because there's not enough room but I do want to use this as the operating system let me know if that's the right way to go um, so what I'm going to have to do I do have another bigger storage external capacity and unfortunately some people may not have that and again that was given to me so yeah I'm going to try and transfer as much as my personal or, or stuff that I use onto there um, and try and get the data down on the hard disk to get to say like a hundred and or well, hundred gigabytes um, so we can use a cloning software if I can't use a cloning software then I think I'm gonna have to just install new windows on here and I might just do that anyway what do you think go with the new windows install and then just reload all the software yeah that might be the best way to go alright so the first thing I want to do is put this into the system so yeah apologies for not understanding that last time I thought the CPU told the RAM to get that to put it on the RAM and then it could just talk to that but no apparently it goes direct to the drive and anything it thinks it's going to need it just throws it to the RAM so that you can access it later thank you for the comments super helpful that's put me into thinking that a faster disk a faster way to get uh, information this is what I was trying to do with the DVR was to get information uh, well no it wasn't the speed was it it was the capacity but um, yeah so maybe speeding up the drive and the way the CPU grabs information will help with editing don't know um, my other thoughts are the graphics card I think I'm rambling on a bit too much let's get into it um, I don't know the best way to go about this because 120 gigs so do I just do a fresh install of Windows on here let's hook it up let's check the health let's see if it recognizes this on the PC and let's take a sip of the tea I've got tea today PG tips more specifically all right, let's take you over to the computer. Let's hook this up onto the PC, and that's it, guys. So, corrected my understanding. Thank you for the comments again. Let's do it. Drive. Here's a drive. I know haters are going to hate me for this for just leaving that just sitting there, but I didn't have the case, the holder. It's been fine for a year and a half, so um, I've been lucky, I guess. I did leave that Corsair RAM in there because there was just no difference and no reason to change it back because it was all the same. Um, so, I think first, what are we going to do? So I do need an I do need an extra port or USB. What is this going to? Oh, that's going to the drive. Oh, that one's going to the disk drive. So unfortunately, this board doesn't have any more. So I'm going to have to lose the disk drive uh, to have SSD and use this as backup storage. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I don't think I have another port on that motherboard. Yeah, I do know that this thing over here, that's PCI, I don't know which piece, what that's called, but that little small PCI, you can buy, I think, a card which can give you more. Uh, but I think for now, we'll just lose the disk drive. I don't use it at the moment. Um, yeah, that's a shame. So we'll just do that. Um, but first of all, let's see, let's, let's check, let's do a benchmark on the speed. So I'm going to hit the power button, press start, and let's see how long it takes to get into a program. Alright guys, so it takes 3 minutes, 25 seconds to turn the PC on, get into Windows and load an Excel spreadsheet using NeatOffice. Um, so hopefully that's, that's the benchmark, we'll put the SSD in and I'm going to do a, I don't know how to use the cloning, maybe I should do the cloning, I don't know. So the problem I have guys, right, is, as I said, let me show you there, I've used up, so I have... 202 free space. So just go to properties. So I have used 262 gigabytes. So I'm 140 odd over than what the SSD can handle. What I might do is maybe I should just remove the programs because I do I do have a load of editing software down in here that I've got ready to try and use. But just to demonstrate, hit film right there. Press that. It doesn't work. I think I'm going to flip over to screen recording. Um, don't know how much of this boring information you want to see, guys, but yeah, so hit film just doesn't load. It will flash up, I think. It will flash up, but it just won't load. Um, there you go. So it flashes up, tries to load.
and yeah, just doesn't load, so nothing. Um, all right, what I do, so I do use a piece of software up here called Oslogix Oslog Boot Speed. What I do is I screen record. Oh, by the way, last video I saw that. You see the mouse? See all of that? When a screen capture, like I, I don't see all of those different mouses, but this, like you can see it there. That's a bit odd, isn't it? How do I change that? I could get different mouse, different pointers because of the speed. Maybe it's the refresh rate of the monitor. I don't know. So I do use this piece of software here. I don't know if you've seen this before. Oslogix Boost Speed 13. And on here, I've got loads of different tools. It's all free. Um, there is paid versions, obviously pro. I don't see a reason why to use that, um, but I can go into here and I can quite easily uninstall multiple programs. And what this one does, it also takes away all the, you know, folders and registries that's left that hasn't been deleted. So, yeah, okay. Let's do it by size. What's the biggest? So Aim Labs. So Steam. 13.5 gigabytes and aim lab is all right so we've got some big files there i'm just going to remove everything that i don't really use and see if i can clean this pc up a bit any my personal folders i will move on to a different drive and then let's see what that's left with all right hold on all right guys so this is a bit better we're now screen capturing um yeah so i was just saying i, I use this all's logics who's logics boot speed software that's already loaded up here and on here i mean it's pretty good i don't know if it's you know I, let me know your thoughts about this software but I, I use this and i can clean up my system it does a scan and i can you know keep everything it checks it checks it all it does has a bunch of features i mean i can do a video separately and show you everything else optimized there is a paid version of this as well but this is totally free um doesn't give you too many pop-ups like i think there's one one or two pop-ups it tells you a bit of information here and it keeps asking you to activate pro but i haven't done so um, I don't see a reason. I mean, Pro just has things so you can automatically do stuff. But uh, if you do it manually, then you can pick and choose what you want to do. You can do a bunch of stuff. And one of the good things on here is Uninstall Manager. So as I was showing you before, which is probably not very clear, on the disk drive that I have at the minute, I only have 203 gigabytes free space. I have used 261. So if I try and transfer, you know, there's a you can there's cloning software. If I try and clone this drive to the ssd at the moment the ssd is only 120 um yeah it's not going to fit so i've got to i've got to bring this down so what i was thinking of doing is there's a tool in here called uninstall manager and i've just sorted it from high to low do i really need to transfer steam i don't know but don't need block party and i don't want to put all of these uh editing tools software that i've installed so maybe if i delete these editing tools Black magic components. Don't know. Discord. Let's remove that for now. I was using Discord for only um, mid journey, but not anymore. Everything else I think I want. Oh, another video editor. Yeah, we don't need that. Driver Max, we don't need anymore. And these are just driver softwares. Clip Champ, I want to try and keep. Drive easy. So now I use Snap Drive, Snappy Drive, so I don't need these these anymore. Alright, so I think first of all, what I'm gonna do, yeah. Alright. Let's keep the drive ones here for the minute. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's so then you just click multiple uninstall. It's gonna Tell you what you're uninstalling. Yeah, I don't want any of these. Uninstall. Next,
All right, guys, so we've deleted a bunch of stuff, um, programs. So I think the last thing, so I've still got this shortcut here. Is this working? Oh, yeah, so it's not there anymore, but. I did hit the wrong button at one point when it asked me to uninstall. Okay, so the biggest ones are Steam and Aim Lab. I want to keep those. Never mind. All right, so mm, let's try and put my pictures and stuff on another drive. So in here, I just have tools. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. All right, guys. So what I'm doing here, I don't know if you can see, but I'm just transferring my data that I want to keep. And that's going from this hooked up drive to this. I think this is about three terabytes. So if you have one of these to back up your data, because um, I'm lucky enough to have one. so. WD drive, uh, three terabytes, I think it is. Um, hopefully, there's enough space on here to take whatever I'm trying to save. Uh, yeah, I'll come back once that's done. All right, guys. So I will show you. Um, I haven't freed up any space significantly. I think it says two fifty used space still so I need to get that down to 120 maybe a restart and a disk cleanup will show something different but what I'm doing is I'm just transferring over some uh, folders that I want to keep onto an external hard drive just to see once I delete them to see how far we can get that down um, and if not at least we have a backup so let's let that do that and we'll be back when that's done all right guys so I've just restarted the computer and I have deleted everything then I can see or do like I've got nothing. I've got a few programs, but I've got nothing in here. And I've got a few. I've got obviously the video that I'm doing now. No pictures. No nothing. So why? And it still hasn't freed up. So I'm still used 193 gigabytes, but I don't know what. So I don't know what else I can delete because these programs. I now have on here not very large. Ah, so Clipchamp is 53.6 gigabytes. I see. But then, yeah, the rest of them, the biggest, there's no big ones. So it's Clipchamp, but 53 less, how much? So if I took 53 off that, that would bring me down to 140. Still, still not enough room. So 140. And, then, and I do want to have all these that remain. So, yeah, it looks like I don't know what else to do other than I've saved everything um, other than install the drive and put a fresh Windows on it. I'm not going to be able to do anything else. In my capability, if you guys know, I, tell, I suppose there's one more thing we can do. All right, let's try optimize this disk and see what it does. So we'll go to here. So I'll just show you how you do that. Uh, just right click here, go to properties, tools, optimize, and then just click optimize. And it's going to go through and do the defrag. Right, guys, we just finished optimizing the and defragging the hard drive. Let's see if that has given us more room. 185. I think it might be slightly. All right. Let's try and remove some more programs. I think I'm going to delete this because at the moment I'm using uh, the web based one. So. We do not need ClipChamp app downloaded. As we saw before, that was one of the big ones. By size. Yeah, so let's uninstall this. The rest I really want to keep. I don't think there's much more I can delete here, do you? Okay, let's see what that does. 132. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, 
One other thing I think we can try is deleting some temporary files and prefetch. So prefetch your run. Give you all this. Okay, there's a quite a lot here. So go like that, delete those. And skip only ones that skip. Okay. And then we can also delete run percentage temporary files temp percentage. A few here. And skip any it says skip or continue. These are not even open. Right? right, so that's those. Then empty your bin. All right, let's see if that's freed up enough. No, okay. So that's it, guys. I can't get down to 120 for whatever reason. I must have, I don't know what apps. But I'm sure Windows isn't 132 gigabytes, right? I don't know what else I can delete here. I mean, is this going to make much difference? 800. I want to keep those. And then the rest are very small, so. <coughs> All right. Looks like we're going to have to do a fresh Windows install. Now, before I do that, I'll just show you what I did with the virtual memory settings. Settings maybe, system, advanced display, yes. So here you can change, oh no, hold on a minute. Oh, this is how I checked um, the card and the memory on the graphics card. So you can see here total available memory 3323, dedicated memory 512 megabytes. I think that's the VRM part there. So on the laptop, this is lower, but this is higher. So I think this is 400 megabytes higher on the laptop, and this is 300, so almost 200 megabytes lower on the laptop. So I don't think it's to do with the graphics card. Now, how did I change my virtual memory? Um, pretty sure it was... Where is control panel? Uh -huh. Control panel. System. Maybe system. Oh, it is this? So it is this? It is this? Advanced system settings. Here we go. So here's how I changed the um, virtual memory. One of these somewhere. Here it is. Advanced, there you go. So you can change it here. Um, um, so because I've got eight gigabytes of DDR3, you can times the, there's an equation on Google. I can just show you the equation. Oh, nice, nice. There you go. So you can see here, the initial size is one and a half times the amount of the total system memory. The memory size is three times the initial size, blah, blah. Here's the equation. One gigabyte is 496. So then see here, how to calculate virtual memory of eight gigabytes, which is what I have. And it told me I can have 12288 minimum and maximum 2457. So if you go here, I've got 12288 and 2457. Press OK, apply, OK, da, da, da. And yeah, but that, did, that still didn't help me... Um, enable me to use HitFilm or DaVinci, Code, DaVinci Editor, right? So that didn't work. So I'm left with either it's the SSD or it is the graphics card. But the graphics card in here is better than the graphics card in the laptop, which is why I don't understand. So the only difference is the SSD. All right, what we're going to do here, guys, we are going to install a fresh... I'm not going to be able to clone the drive because I've got such a low SSD. If you've got a higher SSD, you'll be able to clone it, and there's videos on YouTube to how to clone. I'm going to do a fresh install on this SSD. Now let's just check. Let's just check this HDD at the minute. So performance, disk drive. Here we go. So our write speeds are 
no idea. I think that says, can you see more of this? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Anyway. Okay, so one more thing we can do as well. We can, let's type in CMD. Run this as administrator. We're going to check the health of our HDD. Yes. Uh, okay. All right. So we can type in here chkdsk. It stands for check disks. We can hit enter. All right. I don't know what any of this means, but it doesn't tell me. It says zero bad sectors. I guess that's good. There's another health check we can try. So let's try that, which is WMIC, not W Mike. Uh, let me try that. Let's open this up bigger. All right, now it tells you where do you want to get it from, what do you want to check. So we go disk, disk drive, get status. I think status, okay, okay. Yes, what is crystal disk info? Download this and see what this does. All right, so that's done. So it looks like, I don't know what the difference is between QT to random, 4K, 1Q, 1 thread, Qs, 1 thread, Qs, 8 Qs, 1 thread, 1Q, 1 thread. I don't know. So it looks like 104 megabytes read was the best and 110 write speeds. So we should be able to get five times that at least. All right, guys, let's do this. All right, guys, here's the SSD. And just give it a good little clean, clean the contacts with alcohol. And I was wondering... Before we take swap the drive out, shall I just see what happens when I put this drive in? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I just plug the drive in, just the power. So that's the power, the data, or the power and the data, and it's just connected to the board. And nothing has popped up yet on the screen. And nothing is showing up. Nothing is showing up. Hmm. I don't know what to do, so okay, guys. So, hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. I've disconnected my heart, my disk drive, and we're going to go with so we're going to take this out for now, and we're just going to connect. I've left that. Right. Make that SSD, and that can probably just sit in there. And then we're going to get our Windows loader. So, as you know, if you've watched my previous video, this is my Windows ISO file. I'm going to plug this into the There we have it. So now I've got to just install Windows. This is going to suck because all of my saved data, drivers, and everything else is going to have to be redone. All of my logins are going to have to be redone. Activate Windows. I don't have a product key. Uh, we can go with Windows Pro. 
64. Accept. Next. Uh, custom. There's no other allocated drive, so new. And they recommend reducing the size to keep more life of your SSD. I don't know why they say that. They say take 10% off or 20%. I am not going to do that. To ensure that all the features work correctly, Windows might create additional conditions for the system file. Okay. So after you've done that, it will create that and hit next. And if it's an SSD, I'm assuming this is going to go a lot quicker than it did for the hard drive. But yeah, let me install Windows, guys, and we'll come back after this is finished. And I'm going to also do the update, so I won't bore you with that. But yeah, let's just crack on. All right, that's done already. And it's just restarted. And it's probably just going to ask me questions now. Like... Okay, let's get started. So, United Kingdom, yes. Is this the right keyboard out of United Kingdom? Yes. Do you want to add a second keyboard? Skip. Set up for personal use? Yes. Let's add accounts. Okay, so now we've got our account details put in, but we can say, let Microsoft use your location, say no. Find my device, choose state and select, accept, save, click, learn to all those. No. Send required only. No. 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 Uh, it is for everything gaming, school, business, except. No thanks. No to OneDrive. Decline. Click off the pin. Next. Discover your favorite games with XPass. No thanks. Let Cortuna help you get things done. Uh, not now. All right. Okay guys, there we have it, we've got a nice fresh Windows install. Um, if we go to add and remove. We're going to see a bunch of stuff that we don't want, like a Cortina, uh, Solitaire, don't need that. So I just go through now and I take off stuff I don't want, mixed reality, portal, whatever that even is that. Don't need that. OneNote, don't need that. Microsoft Office, don't need that. That's because you have to pay. Sticky notes, don't need that. Snip and sketch, no maybe. Xbox, don't need that. Game Bar, Xbox Live, don't need that. So just go through guys and just anything you don't want, take off. Let's sort it by size. Oh, OneDrive, don't need that. Uh, 
It might let me uninstall it. Okay, photos I want to keep. App, camera, Cortina, I can't take off. We can use the other software to get rid of some of this that you can't remove from here. That's another good thing about that. Autis, Logix, whatever it was called. And uh, what else do we do? So then, yeah, Windows updates. Windows. Window. Updates. Check for updates. And go ahead and do that. And you're going to see a bunch of updates come up now. Yeah, there we go. So we just let those go through and update, and I'll come back. So while Windows is doing your updates, I also like to update the store. So I go into stores, and I just get the updates, and I download these too while that's going on. So if you want to do that, you can. I mean, after you've deleted all the apps that you don't want, and you'll see that these are, again, a bunch of, I've got 20 left, but yeah, there was about 40. So yeah, these get, these get updated too. Um, I will be removing some of this, but I need the other application to do so. But yeah, just worth doing that too. All right, guys, so all the updates are done. After you've come in here about, I think, four or five times now, and you press check for updates, and there's no more. After it restarts, come back, do check for updates, restart, install those, uh, restart again, and check again, and then it should come up eventually with no more updates. I mean, you do have optional updates, driver updates, but um, it says here, only put these in if you, if you have a problem, which I don't at the moment. So, yeah, we have a fresh install. You can go into Device Manager, And you can literally go in one by one and update update driver for instance and search this driver is already okay you can go in and do each one individually okay update driver search is okay and that's what you would do so you just go in each one update driver now the SSD is showing up here and this might be um, there might be an update on the actual website, so we can go and check that. Yeah, so you just do that and so. Okay, I don't know what that is. PCI Simple Communications Controller. Can't find it. Interesting. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But yeah, you can go to uh, Samsung now. Oh, I've got to set up my internet. Alright, finally guys, I think we got it sorted. I managed to get uh, stuff removed, everything updated. And uh, let's do a speed test. So actually, let's just check the drive. So I'll show you the drive. And you may be able to see that... Windows takes up quite a bit, 38.7 gigabytes. So you're gonna need quite a lot, and I've still got 74 free. Um, yeah, so let's do a speed test before we try and put the other drive in and format that to make it just a storage drive. But I'd be interested to know. Oh yeah, and I've also downloaded that. This neat office, so we'll put that there. So what we'll do, we'll do the same test. So I'll put neat office there, and we'll get the timer up. So we'll shut this down. Power button and quickly press start. There we go. All right, let's see if we can beat that time of three minutes twenty-seven to get into a Excel spreadsheet. About Twelve seconds are on the window. Is that quicker? That feels quicker. Don't know. All right. Stop. We are in. 30 seconds, so we've shaved almost nearly three minutes off. Fantastic. All right, that feels a lot better. Let's try and get the hard drive in as a storage drive now. All right, guys, I've got my hard drive all connected up, my SSD up there. Now, the thing I'm worried about is if when I press start, it may try and boot from this drive. So what I want to do is go into BIOS and make sure the priority drive is going to be the SSD. So let's quickly smash that delete button. Come on BIOS. Alright, we've got the BIOS up. I don't know if you can see it all, but this is what it looks like. 
So what I'm looking for are boot options here and the UIFI boot options. Okay. So then it's the hard disk, then it's the CD DVD, then it's a removable device, and then it's your LAN, which I believe is the internet. This can become this. This can become this. Because I don't have a CD and DVD. So removable device. Hmm. Hard disk. UEFI boot manager. Alright, let's save and exit. And hopefully it doesn't boot from my hard disk. Which would be annoying. Wow, well, you don't have to wait very long now, guys. Alright. Okay guys, so I have a spreadsheet on the SSD and I have the same spreadsheet on the on the hard drive. So I'm going to just check to see which one opens quicker. So let's open this one. And this is the SSD. And we're in. All right. And this is the hard drive. They're pretty much the same. I don't know whether that's the, the SSD working with the program, making it quicker, but it wasn't that quick. So that's quicker on both occasions. Goodness, CMD. Ah, yes. All right. C H K D S K. There we go. Now we're checking, people. Now we're checking. Examining basic disk file structure. Zero bad file. I should have done this before I put my SSD in, shouldn't I? Hopefully we get lucky and there's zero bad sectors. Index complete. Duh, duh, duh. Oh my god, we got lucky guys. Zero bad sectors, alright. Cool. So the health seems to be okay, right? And then the last thing we need to do... Oh, two things left. Alright guys, so I just installed Crystal Disk on the SSD and we're going to check the speed of this. Okay guys, so that's finished and it looks like there is improvement. It's about two and a half to three times faster on these two sections here. Uh, this one over here is a lot, a big difference between the disk drive and the hard drive, between the SSD and the hard drive. And down here, I'm not too sure, a little bit more of a difference. Yeah, there's a bit of a difference here as well, I think. But yeah, at least about two and a half to three times faster. Okay, that's good. And you can see that in the load times, it went from so 30 seconds to three minutes. And not much difference between opening programs though. All right, now, the reason why we did all this, let's test if I download a uh, hit film on the SSD, will it edit? Let me download it. All right, moment of truth guys, we've got hit film downloaded. Let's see if... Oh, hit film, system error code open CLDOL was not found when installing the program. Oh my God, what is this? Okay, hold on. All right, sorry guys, I don't know if you can see this. OpenCL.DWL is not found, right? And looking on Google, um, it says it's related to the graphics card driver. And when I do, when I right click, I can't see the ATI um, driver. So we've got to go and get the driver. So what is my graphics card again? Uh, 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 I want to check for Samsung Evo. Alright guys, so I've just typed in Samsung Magician, Samsung SSD Magician download and I looked for this one with the Samsung website underneath, clicked that, got to this page, downloaded this file, this is the Samsung Magician and now I want to open that file, so extract all. Samsung installer, let's double click that. I guess I don't need this. 
I've already downloaded HitFilm as well, but we're going to update the firmware first. Oh yeah, you saw me try and open it for a minute. So, something to do with the graphics card now. Ah. Next, accept, accept, create a desktop item, sure. Install. So with everything you use, comes a piece of software, like the mouse, I've got to download the mouse software. So the SSD comes with software, the graphics card has software. All of this eats up your memory, your storage. God damn it. Okay, come on. Finish, finish your food. All right, finished. Let's open it up. It gives you a bunch of details here. Um, 2.21.3 written. It says it's good. Oh, so this is a way, another way you can uh, check your your drive, whether your drive is good. Don't know what any of that means. Oh, down here. Look, update. Let's go with update. There is no firmware update. Okay. I don't believe latest version. We're currently running the latest version. All right, so we're good with the SSD. So it's not the SSD. So now it's the graphics card. So I've got to install my graphics card. All right. How do we do that now again? Can't remember. Um, first of all, I need to go system. Information. I need to get my graphics card info, which doesn't show it here. ATI Radeon HD 26 XT. All right. So now I need to go to ATI driver. See how driver downloads. Oh no, I don't want to do that. That's not the right one. So you've got to always check the website www.amd. Right, that's AMD then, is it? Okay, let's reject all of those. Graphics card, radio on HT, or oh, what was it? HD 2600XT, so 2600, 2000 series 2600XT, submit. Okay, let's get that. Catalyst software suite, download. So now downloading the file up here. Oh, these drivers are. Oh, look at that. Oh, this one, latest. Oh, this is a beta driver. This is the Catalyst software suite. 13.4. Oh shit, should I have downloaded that one? Alright, sorry. Let's download this one. This one is newer. So let's quickly go to downloads. for this come on yep all right so we're going from this side now come on then
You see the open seal there? I just saw it. So yeah, this is coming with the open seal. Okay, so did we just fail? Oh no, here we go. Now we have a new error. So the Catalyst Control Center cannot be started. Okay, another thing to fix. Wait, bear with me. Hello guys, I have read a Reddit post about this. Apparently the catalyst will not work on Windows 10 off the bat. Um, and the reason is, I believe, if you go to Device Manager, I'll open that out, move that out of the way. Oh, the display, so we want to update this driver. And it says it's already installed. So whatever reason, Windows has put on the wrong driver and then the catalyst can't, the control center can't, recognize it or doesn't want to work with it so what we've got to do is we've got to disconnect the internet so we'll do that now okay internet is now disconnected as you can see here network settings it's got a square on it um, then we've got to uninstall this driver and delete driver software oh bloody hell Okay, so there's no display driver here now. All right, refresh that a bit. Then we want to go to add and remove and just double check that AMD is not there and it still is here. So we want to remove it here as well. It won't let me. Maybe it's still removing. Okay, if you can't remove it here, then you can go to program files. AMD. Clean. D. All right. So I need to be able to I need to be able to remove it somehow. All right. I need to remove this. Maybe it's still removing. Uh, let's try restarting the computer. Still there, god damn it. 
um, all right, device manager. Can't remove everything. Okay, we've got basic display here, so that's what we want. Now we need to remove that AMD. Can't remove it. Okay guys, I am trying to remove this catalyst manager and it doesn't give me the option. Alright, let's try something else. What else can I do? So, here. Ah, uninstall. So what is this? This is control panel, uninstall, change of program. Yep. Repair or change. Change. Uninstall. Yep, that's it. Okay, so you go there to do that. We're now going to uninstall this. Custom, next. Uh, select all, next. Uninstall is complete finish still showing up oh man all right let's try add and remove again still there oh man oh it's not here no more okay so it's not here no more Alright, so now we're going to restart the computer because it's not there no more. All still with the internet not connected. this speed all right so now what we want to do is find the one we had so is it here yeah and then we want to troubleshoot compatibility all right so test the program Fixed. Okay, program is fixed. All right, now we want to run as administrator. Yes. Install it. Hopefully, this fixes it. Install, express, accept, yes. Still got the login areas. The login errors. Okay, finish. Close this. Run the catalyst. An app on your PC needs the following windows feature network frame. Okay, let's try that. Which means I've got to connect to the internet now to do that. 
All right, let's see how I get connected. There you go, now connected, download it. Oh, we've got some flickering. Uh, must be adjusting the uh, resolution. Oh, lovely, yeah. Much clearer. Hopefully that's done it. Such a pain to do these PCs, isn't it? There's so many workarounds and stuff. You can finish now. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, the phone is successfully installed. Now let's see if we can open it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. All right. We have it loaded up. All right, so yeah, I've got the Cali Center working now. Um, we can play around with settings and stuff, check for updates on driver. Let's try that. Uh, let's not try that right now. Close all tabs. Can't bother with that. So the Cali Center works. Let's check the device manager. So it's got the radio on back in there. And now let's try hit film. Probably get some different error code now. Oh, there we go. Loading up. Will it load? Is the SSD the difference? No, nothing. So, hit film still won't load. We've upgraded the SSD. It's got to be the graphics card or it's got to be the motherboard. Um, I think next we'll look at the graphics card. So, there you go, guys. I tried everything here. I, this PC runs better than the laptop. Why does it work on the laptop and not on this? I do not know. Does anyone know? If anyone knows, let me know. But um, if HitFilm won't run, DaVinci definitely won't run. Because I know DaVinci wants, his, wants a better graphics card. Uh, wants better DDR. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Um, let me know if you found any of information here helpful. Let me know if you want to have mini videos of anything I did in here so that it's clearer and you don't have to watch the whole video I've got here. Um, yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate all my 101 subscribers. Um, and don't forget, if you found anything useful in this and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, leave your comments below. Much appreciated. And I'll see you on the next one, man. I can't get this to work.